it's Tuesday morning. I have to go have my root canal. I have to be there in an hour. So I'm just kind of sitting here thinking about this. So my appointment is at 5.50 a.m. I'm in a shower. I don't think I'm going to wash my hair because I know I'm going to want to shower later today. So I am going to get showered. I can't eat anything. I was able to take my thyroid medicine this morning. So that's done. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm already hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten. I ate, we ate dinner at like 9 o'clock last night and I haven't eaten anything since. And obviously it's 4 in the morning. But, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Hopefully it'll be easy breezy. I don't, you know, last time I had, I'm doing the Twilight Sedation, which I've had before whenever I had my wisdom teeth out. I had a mole removal when I was a kid. They did the same thing. And I did really well with it both of those times, but the last time was I was 20, so it's like almost 20 years ago. So I guess we'll see. I didn't think of it that way. I thought, like, maybe I've had this before and it was no big deal. But it was, I was, yeah, 20. No. It's 2000. I was 19, yes, it was almost exactly, it was 19 years ago, so we'll see. Anyway, husband will be there, He's, he has to stay on the premises the entire time. They said the whole thing, including like going in and coming out of anesthesia, will be about four hours total. And then I will get more instructions, and I'm going to have a temporary crown for three weeks, and then I will have the real crown put in, and I have to be careful about crunchy and chewy stuff on that side. In the meantime, and I am not looking forward to that because that's the side that I normally chew on, so which is probably how I got into this situation. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think I even like last night. I was going to go to bed early and I was just like anxious and so I was watching the Hallmark movie and it was really cute and I really liked it. It was called Christmas Comes Twice. I thought it was really... It was nice. I, I thought the couple was very nice. Some of the, the new ones this year I haven't like really loved the couple or loved their story. But this one I thought was really, really nice. Um, it was about science and yeah, I like that. And she was an astronomer. So it was up my alley. So anyway, I ended up just staying up and watching that. I don't think I vlogged before bed last, last night. So I I don't know if I'm going to do yesterday or today as one vlog. Maybe just because... I don't think enough happened yesterday. Like, work was really crazy busy. And then I came home, ate dinner, and just kind of hung out. So, <sighs> we'll see how this goes. I'm so nervous right now, but it'll be fine. It'll be okay. I think. I hope. We'll see. I'll check back in later. So, we're getting ready to head out. I did shower. I don't, don't look like I did because I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I just didn't get good quality sleep because I was anxious, but I, for good luck, I am wearing my Dave Matthews Band hoodie over my Joshua Tree National Park t-shirt. If I still had my little stuffed Pooh Bear, I'd probably put him in my pocket, but I gave him to my dad when my dad was first in the hospital going through chemo. So you may recall this bear known as affectionately AIDS Pooh because I got him whenever I was in college and had to go for an HIV test and I was super nervous so I brought my Pooh Bear with me. And he has remained known as AIDS Pooh over the years. So anyway, he now resides with my dad so my dad can take him to chemo treatment. Well, he's not with chemo right now, but he could, he was taking him to chemo treatments and having him in the hospital to keep him company. So just for good luck, you know, you gotta do these things. So anyway, we are heading out. Husband is just getting dressed and we're gonna go. I'm so hungry and thirsty. I'm not to even drink water. It's weird. So, okay. Hopefully, it'll just be like I blink an eye, fall asleep, blink an eye, and I wake up and I feel good. Or something. gonna pick me up and make fun of silly things I say if I start talking about UFOs and cults and death and stuff. I'll let you know what you said. Oh boy. Maybe maybe it's better if you don't. 
Yeah, but you'll never trust if I said you didn't say anything. Yeah, maybe you're right. Good thinking. Can you see how swollen my cheeks are? They are very, very puffy. The, the root canal is on this side. This one somehow is less puffy. I had a cavity or two over here, and this one's like really puffy. But my eye is swollen for no reason. My lips look like I got a bad Botox injection. So let's focus on the positive here, which is my perfect little nurse sleeping on the job here. She's been taking good care of me all day since I got home. It really was like totally fine. My teeth don't really hurt. Like they hurt a little bit. They did give me some pain medication. So I took a half of one of those. And Helena, you're not gonna show your face to everybody? You're not gonna show your face to everybody? There she is. So, let me see her face. I did take half a pain medicine. I'm taking some ibuprofen, which will hopefully take the swelling down. I'm just gonna put a cold compress on my face every like hour or so, just to see if that takes the swelling down. So yeah, we just came home, got back into bed for a couple hours. Now I have a lot of energy. It's a little hard to, to chew. I had some cereal. I tried to make it like real soggy because I like my cereal soggy anyway, so that works out. But it was a little sensitive to chew still on that side, so. You know, I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner, I guess. Soup. <laughs> I guess we'll have soup. So but I survived. It really wasn't bad. My doctor was really nice. The anesthesiologist was really nice. The dentist was really nice. Like I felt very safe with them. I trusted them. The weirdest thing is I have a sore throat. I guess they say you get a sore throat because your mouth is open and exposed to dry air for so many hours, and that's normal. Um but aside from that and the swelling, it's like manageable. It's manageable. You are so cute. So I'm gonna try to work on some stuff on my computer. I do feel like a little bit, I wouldn't drive anywhere right now because I still feel a little woozy. Basically the anesthesiologist was like, I just want you to treat yourself like you're drunk all day and don't do anything that you wouldn't do while you're drinking. I was like, okay, got it. So I'm gonna keep drinking water and hydrate because I, I wasn't allowed to drink any water before the procedure, so I'm super dehydrated now. I love you. And we're probably gonna just take another nap, right? Mm -hmm. So a look at what came in the mail today. If I can get this to stay open, I will show you. There we go. So we have this little card here. It's very nice. Then we got business cards. And okay, here it is. This is the secret garden, I believe, is the name of the design. Belong. There's like a vellum page here in the beginning with this cute little, oh that's really cute, it's very shiny. And then this part belongs to 2021. This is their like mission statement which was in the last year's planner as well. And this is like a thick card stock here. So this is your 21, 2021 through 2024 at a glance, which that's pretty awesome actually. And this might be useful as someone who has a set weekend rotation. This might be useful to like, I could mark out long term my weekends so I could see them. I like that. And then here, how cool is this? Okay, so this is the what used to be the holidays page. They do have some holidays in there. They have Indigenous Peoples Day. Go girls. Awesome. But they also have all these spaces so you can add your own holidays and things that you celebrate. So that's super awesome. That's like a good compromise because some people don't want any holidays. Some people want holidays, but they, you know, it doesn't include every holiday. And so, and they have Juneteenth in there. Awesome. Yay. This is so cool. I'm really happy with how this looks. And then you can add your own stuff. Cool. So I can add like the solstice and the equinox and those kinds of things. Okay. Then here we go. January. Same kind of style of calendar. I'm gonna move my light over here. There we go. Calendar is the same style as the 2021. I have two computers on my desk right now because I'm in the process of transferring everything onto the new laptop, so everything's chaos. This paper feels like butter. It is so smooth. Oh my god. It's just like it's very nice to touch. It's very <laughs> they like it out of the Layla. 
what are you? So same style, it keeps having like the one little, like the little quote once in these. And those are easy to cover if you don't like that, but sometimes they're really cute and sometimes they are fitting to the week that they're in, so that's nice. All right, now let's see. Here's the end of this one. Okay, there is still the budgeting page here. There's a notes page. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they took out the grocery list. They used to have a grocery list page in here and they just have six pages of note pages. But that's awesome. Because I use these note pages in my planner for like my memory keeping plans and stuff like that. So that's awesome to have that much note page. I like it when it's attached to the month like that. That's really cool. So, yeah, that's the style for every month. As you have, they it looks like they got rid of the grocery list, but they kept the budgeting stuff. That's awesome. Oh, I just love it. it. Just has a nice feel to it. So let's go see the back here. It is a thick, thick boy this year, though. Like thicker than last year. And these, the these are like hefty cardstock, really sturdy for the. There's like no nonsense pages. Like everything is very thoughtful. And you have a ton of notes pages at the back here. Look at this. See some blank. Okay, I had to start it over because my camera card got full. So there's a note section in the back. So, and it's a pretty hefty note section. Check this out. There's a lot. There's blank pages, then there's some dot grid pages, and then there's all these line pages. So you have a sizable chunk of note pages back here, which is awesome. It really makes it so that your planner can be like. I don't know, that you don't have to have a separate notebook for like your to-do list and stuff. Like you can put that stuff in here too. So I love that. And this year they added a little pocket in the back here too, which is awesome. So there's that. Like I have a little mini calendar, like one of those little, you know, recipe card size ones that I have my work weekends written out in and my vacation day requests and everything like that. So I could tuck that back in here have that as a reference like so the only weird thing is I thought it would have the year on the cover and it's just the cover is just blank but it's it's thicker this year than it was last year you can see that like it's nice though the paper quality is just like it's I wish that I could transmit the feel of this paper over the internet so that you could feel it because it's so nice and this is this, I believe this is a removable cover now yeah so you can any like you know Etsy shops that make removable covers you can purchase them and they will fit onto here. And they do have a couple options on the Gooseby Twins page too of different um, of different covers there. So that's a new change for this year. So I'm really happy I decided to stick with it. I was going back and forth because I had, like prior to discovering this in June, had my heart set on I was going to get a plum paper and do all the customization and add pages that I would use, you know. And I just in the end I got overwhelmed with it and decided to just stick with the Gooseby Twins and I'm so happy because this is such a fucking good quality planner. Like I'm just holding it in my hand feels like good. You know what I mean? You know that feeling when you get a planner and you're like, ah, this planner feels good. This planner feels good. So I'm super excited and it shipped. I literally, I think I ordered it on Friday, maybe Thursday, but it arrived today on Tuesday, like so fast. Awesome. Now there's not customization, so it, it is a faster turnaround time based on that, but I'm just so happy with it. Yay.